wagon ever since. <laughs> Speaking of obsessions, who here likes comic books? That's cute. Who here loves comic books? I love comic books. The first thing I remember reading on my own was a three-issue miniseries called The Untold Legend of the Batman. In full disclosure, my love of Batman actually predates my love of magic. I mean, I know I'm here standing before you presenting a one-man solo show about my life in magic, but I could just as easily have written a show about my life with Batman. <laughs> There'd be no tricks in it, but it'd be no less magical. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to love playing, uh, well, rather, the, the, I used to love the who could beat who debate. You know, you take two characters like The Flash and Dr. Doom or Wonder Woman and Spider-Man, and then you argue for hours about who would win in a fight. I'd like to play that now. <laughs> who would like to play with me? Uh, I actually need a volunteer, someone from the audience, preferably someone with a love of comic books. Uh, can I get a little house lights there, Joe? Uh, you raise your hand. Wait, do I know you? Yeah. <laughs> I lose all credibility if I know you. I'm looking around the room, that's going to be really hard. <laughs> inside it, but can you sort of uh, verify with the audience that inside there is a comic book shaped object? I would imagine so. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So inside, inside that envelope, I made a prediction. I made it right before the show. I decided, mm, you know what, I'm kind of feeling this. I put a comic book in there, sealed it up, okay? Um, what I want you to do is I want you to give that envelope to anybody you want in the audience. Sure. Um, in fact, actually, there's only one person here that you will not give it to because I will lose all credibility whatsoever. But anybody else, go right ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Who are you going to give it to? Person I'm with, he doesn't know you either. Oh, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Now, please hold on to that. I'm going to get to that in a moment, okay? Make sure it stays in your possession the entire time, correct? Yeah. All right. Um, so here are the comic books that are going to be uh, battling today. What we have here is Spider-Man! <laughs> Spider-Man, one of the first superheroes that actually have real-world problems. You know, like lack of money and, and, and you know, college quizzes and, and, and the guilt of his dead girlfriend. You know? <laughs> um, so that's one. Here, hold on to that. And we have Supergirl! Is she? Is she his cousin? Is she an alien? Is she some sort of clone? Who knows? Depends on who's writing her and what year it is. Really. Uh, but I do, I do love me some Supergirl. Uh, we have Captain America! Captain America enjoying a bit of a renaissance. Uh, good for you, Cap. Uh, um, I actually like Cap with a gun. I know it's controversial, but I like it. Um, here we go. Green Arrow, ladies and gentlemen. Yes! One person goes. <laughs> Green Arrow. Green Arrow is actually my favorite non-superpowered superhero. This guy can shoot arrows! That's really hard! You try it! That's really hard to do! And then we have Wonder Woman, ladies and gentlemen! Wonder Woman! One day she'll get a movie. One day! I write hate mail every day. And then, of course, we have Batman, ladies and gentlemen. Batman. That's a tough one. 
rapid response for Batman. <laughs> <laughs> so here you go. Now what I want you to do, I'm going to turn my back on you in a moment. Like, I'm not, I don't want to be rude, but I'm, so I'm warning you ahead of time. What I want you to do is holding your face down, I want you to, um, I want you to mix them up uh, and be very gentle with these because these are part of my prior so, uh Just mix them up and, uh, so that they're not in the same order in which you receive them. Fair enough? Now once you're satisfied in mixing them up, I want you to turn to the battle board. And then I want you uh, to place a comic book back facing out, obviously, so we can't see the covers exactly. And place it in any way you want, so that I don't know and you don't know which comic book is where. Fair enough? Sure. Okay, I'm going to turn my back and go ahead and do that now. Getting a magic kit for some gift-giving holiday is a pretty common origin story for most magicians. Um, whereas the kid will play with it for maybe a day or two, possibly even a week, and then it collects dust in a closet forevermore. I still have mine. I still play with them. <laughs> it sits on a shelf in my apartment next to my Star Trek board game and my Targus cookie jar. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Chris, are you done back there? I am. Fantastic. Fantastic. Now, Chris, you stand right there. I'm going to come around here and I'm going to stand right over here. Now, the way we're going to play this game is a, it's a process of elimination, right? So basically what's going to happen is you're going to point to two comic books, giving me the option of leaving one on the board or taking one away. And then that's how we're going to uh, remove comic books as we go. In fact, I'll go first, okay. just to make it a little bit easier. So i uh, tell you what, these two are closest to me. So which one of these two goes away? Uh, the top one goes Top one goes yes. away? All right, I'm not going to look at it, and I'm just going to place it right down there. Now you point to two. Any two you like? This is one. The two corner ones? Yes. Uh, you know what? I don't like that one. Hand me that one face down. Yeah. Thank you so much. Like that one. Um, now I'm going to choose two. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You know what? Uh, the middle one and the bottom corner. Middle one, bottom corner. Which one goes away? Uh, let's take the top one away. Oh, all right. Top row is gone. <laughs> now, now you go ahead and choose two. Uh, the two end ones. The two end ones? Yes. You know, I'll take the one closest to me. Now, we're down to the last two. I'm going to do something just a little bit differently because I don't want you to think I'm trying to force uh, uh, one of these on you. So basically, one of them stays on the board, one of them goes into your hand. Okay? So just point to the one that goes into your hand. That one. Go ahead and take it off the board. Don't look at it. Great. Now give it to me. We'll put it right over here. We're down to one and only one choice. You mix them up, you place them on the board. I don't know what it is. You don't know what it is. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to, uh, without, again, without looking at us, be very careful. Take it off the board and hold it very close to your chest so that I can't see. Have you done that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you peeked, didn't you? <laughs> Batman, much to my very sound disappointment, is a fictional character. <laughs> <laughs> Created by artist Bob Kane and writer Bill Finger, he premiered in Detective Comics number 27, published in May of 1939. This year marks his 75th anniversary. He is, he's known by many different monikers and nicknames, like uh, the World's Greatest Detective, the Dark Knight, and the Cape Crusader. I know him simply as my favorite. <laughs> Chris, for the very first time, please turn that comic book around and show the audience the greatest comic book character that ever lived! Amazing! Oh, Batman! Oh, Batman! Uh, but you know, you don't have to take my word for it. Prior to all of this, I made a prediction. I placed it in an envelope. You give that envelope to anybody you want. In fact, you have it, don't you? Is it still in your possession? It is. Is it still sealed? It is. Did it, it, oh, wonderful. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to rip open the envelope and show everybody here the prediction that I made prior to the show tonight. <laughs> it's Batman! Oh. Woo, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> You know what, and, you can, and I want to thank you too for helping me out. And uh, as, a, as a thank you, you get to keep those as a gift. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I love the members of your time here at Gallery Magic. <laughs>